How often do you arrive at the end of your day feeling frustrated because you haven't made progress or achieved anything on what really matters? I'm going to share with you one thing that you're doing that you might not even realize that's killing your focus, your productivity and your motivation. See you in a bit. So you've arrived at the end of your day, you're feeling a bit frustrated because you haven't made progress on that project, you didn't get the important stuff done, and you feel drained. I mean, there are many reasons this could be happening, but today I want to reveal one secret culprit that is stalling your progress. Let's roll the tape. Come on, can you guess the silent culprit that's stalling your progress? Too many decisions. We have way too many tabs open and it's making us miserable. And it's paralyzing our progress. Some sources suggest that we make 35,000 decisions a day. Now, assuming you sleep about seven hours a day, that works out to 2,000 decisions an hour. So that's one decision every two seconds. We're making thousands of micro decisions when we check our phone every morning. We have access to more choices, which means more decisions, which means more anxiety. According to Barry Schwartz, author of The Paradox of Choice, he said more choice results in more time spent analyzing, less time deciding, and therefore we get less stuff done. We avoid making decisions because we have this fear we might be missing out on something. So as a result, we don't make decisions. Think about it. How often do you scroll through Netflix deciding what to watch and then you end up watching something you've already seen? Because you can't decide. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Here are some tips to help you eliminate this fatigue when it comes to making decisions. So first of all, be aware of the problem. When you find yourself taking a while to make a decision and you're getting anxious, ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? What's stopping me from deciding? And ask yourself, is this a really important decision? Get, when you get some perspective, you'll realize, oh, maybe I'm making such a, too much of a big deal. The fear of missing out activates the fear center of our brain, which creates the stress. So when you breathe from your abdomen, take deep breaths, five breaths is enough. It helps quiet the fear center down, and then you can make better decisions. Set a deadline. For example, when I'm researching, I can have way too many tabs open and it can cause stress. And before you know it, I've disappeared down a wormhole of cat videos. Not good. So now I set a timer. When the timer's up, I will have to have made a decision. So wherever you can, set a deadline for your decision making. Eliminate decisions wherever you can. For example, one thing I do to eliminate decisions, I wear a black top in all my videos. It helps eliminate the worry of, oh, what shall I wear? Allowing me to conserve my energy to focus on more important decisions, like scripting my cat's next cameo appearance. She's a nightmare. 
such a diva. Another way of eliminating decisions is to set routines. It automates the decision in a way. So for example, I run every two days, rest one day. For example, Monday, Wednesdays and Thursdays, the morning are reserved for scripting and writing. Eliminate decisions by delegating less important decisions to others. And also prioritize your decision making by making more important decisions earlier on in the day and less important decisions later in the afternoon when you have less energy. And above all, recognize and remember what really matters. Is it really obsessing over every single detail and every single possible option and scrolling through every single news feed for fear of missing out? Or is it experiencing more joy and more happiness? See, more choice doesn't mean more happiness. Oftentimes, less is more. When you make tiny tweaks in your day and eliminate unnecessary decisions, you can consistently get the things done that matter most to you. So next time your mind hijacks your day for fear of missing out, take a breath, remember what matters, and experience the joy of missing out. Thanks for watching Coffee and Wisdom. I'm Anise Kizilbash, and I will see you in another episode.